everyone, I'm John from Nick Thin Gaming. Now, a few days ago, I published a one hour long video on how to load an image from a script in Unity. Since then, I've found that maybe a one hour long video is a bit too long. And I've also updated the code a little bit to be more usable in any instance which I will also upload to the GitHub repository. If you would like a longer, in-depth explanation of how to do this, please um, look at my other video, which is one hour long. I will post it here for you to see. Now, let's get started in this video. I will try to do a quick explanation of everything to keep this video under 10 minutes, hopefully around five. Now, the first thing I do is I create a singleton of this class, my load image script, where I say um, have a public static load image script instance, and then when on awake, whenever this script is turned on in the um, hierarchy, if it's null, then the instance is this. Otherwise, if the instance doesn't equal this, then destroy this. What this means is anytime you want to load this image, you just type load image script dot instance and then you can run any of the methods from it however um, if your script is loaded before this script then it will not work in order to get around that what you can do is you can go file no edit project settings and then script execution order right here and then you just add it add the load image script and you want to put it before default time or have all of your other scripts after it now into the meat of things my function load image from URL with callback I take a unity action with a variable sprite called callback and a string URL. And I start the coroutine load image from URL. That's all it does. So it creates a Unity web request to get the texture at the URL. Then it will create an async operation, Unity web request async op operation of request from the uwr.sendweb request. This is kind of like a go command. And then it says, while the request is not done, just return nothing. Uh, this pretty much waits for the next frame, kind of. Um, then I check for success. So if the UWR result does not equal success, then show me the error in the, um, show me the error in the log and then send the callback with null. So tell this Unity action that I was able to load nothing. Otherwise, it will create a texture from download, download handler texture, um, and then it will create a sprite with that, and it will return the sprite. Um, these parts of the sprite don't matter too much, as long as you have the texture. If I want a callback and progress bar, then I just turn a progress bar to active. I set the fill amount and then I turn it off. And you just need to grab an extra image there. That's the only difference there. Now, after everything is loaded, you do want to do a load image script.instance.get size delta to get a vector two for the size delta of your image. So this is different than the sprite. And what this will do is it will get a width, a height, a width subtraction, and a height subtraction. And you must submit a max height, max width, and the sprite that you want. Because the sprite holds the texture that it will um, set the base width and the base height for. And what it does is if you have an image that's this big and you want to put it inside of a cube this big, it will kind of grab the top left and drag it down until it's small enough to perfectly fit inside of that. 
Um, well, not perfectly because it only does it by um, increments of one and not a float value, but you aren't going to load an image that's one by one, or at least I hope you wouldn't. Um, now, once it gets the variables, it will say if the width is greater than the height, then the width subtraction equals width divided by height. Otherwise, if the height is greater than the width, then the height subtraction is height divided by width. And while the width is greater than the maximum width or the height is greater than the maximum height, pretty much the image is outside of our bounds. Then it will subtract the width and height by width sub and height sub. Finally, when it is no longer greater or greater, it will return the new width and sub as a vector too. And then you do um, image rect, which you might need to do git component. So image dot git component um, rect transform dot rect, no rect transform dot size delta. And then you just say size delta equals load image scripts dot get size delta. And that's the description of how this works. I hope this helped you out. If you want to see more how-to videos on how to do things in Unity, please leave me a comment. If you have um, tips or suggestions or anything like that, I look forward to seeing your comments as well. But thank you for watching and goodbye.